Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Caitlin here and today... Okay, so life is giving me lemons at the moment guys and for some reason I have filmed this whole video and there has been no audio recorded. It's so annoying and I'm so so sorry you guys but today is going to be a voiceover makeup tutorial instead of a chatty get ready with me. So I really do apologize but I still hope that you enjoy this video. I hope you guys are having a really great day and if you are celebrating St. Patrick's Day then happy St. Patrick's Day to you all. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to my channel and without further ado I will just get on to the get ready with me. So first of all I'm starting off by just putting some tape underneath my eyes and then the palette which I'm going to be using is the Tropical Oceana palette from MUA and I'm firstly starting off with this peachy orange shade and I'm just blending that into my crease and also onto my lid. Then I'm taking this matte green shade and blending that into my crease also and also throughout my lid as well. Then I'm going to be taking this Cool as a Cucumber Trio from Wet n Wild and mixing the two bottom shades and then blending that into my crease to really darken up this look. This did take a while to do because the shadows were not that pigmented but I got there in the end. So now I'm going to be taking the Liquid Moondust Eyeshadow from Urban Decay. This is in the shade Zodiac and it's such a beautiful glittery green colour which is perfect for St. Patrick's Day. And then, because it was a liquid, I'm going to be taking these two glittery shades from the MUA palette and firstly taking the slightly darker one and packing that on top of the liquid shadow and then the slightly lighter one I put on the inner corner and this just sets the liquid shadow so it didn't crease. I'm also just taking the matte green shade and just using that to blend out the glitter into my crease so it was all nicely blended. So then I'm just removing my tape and oh my goodness, look how much fallout I had. And I'm just using a wipe as well to get rid of the excess. And then I am just heading on and using eyeliner. This is a liquid liner from the Balm. And I'm just creating a fairly thin wing on my top lash line. So moving on to face, I'm firstly priming with the Lumi Magique Primer from L'Oreal. This just gives your skin a really pretty glow. And then for foundation, I'm going to be using another L'Oreal product and this is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation which I've not used in so so long and the second I used it again I remembered why I did love it so much. It's such a good foundation from the drugstore. And then for concealer I'm taking the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay and this is just super brightening for underneath your eyes and also down your chin and on your nose so I'm just using that and blending it in with my Beauty Blender. And then of course I need to set all that and I'm taking the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder and just dusting that all over my face just to set my concealer and foundation. For bronzer I'm taking the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Bam and just putting that on the typical contour areas of my face and I'm also blending that up onto my forehead. For blusher I'm using the Baked Blush by Milani and this is in the shade Rose Dior and it's just a super pretty shade and I'm not using too much but just a little bit. For highlighter I'm using the Glow Cream Highlighter by Topshop and this is in the shade Gleam and I'm just using my fingers to blend that out onto my cheekbones and I am using quite a lot of highlighter in this video because I wanted to be extra because it was a holiday. And then over the top of that cream highlighter I'm taking the MUA Undressed Your Skin Highlighter and it's in such a beautiful golden shade which I thought was perfect for Paddy's Day and I'm just putting that as I said over the top of the Topshop cream highlighter. And I'm also popping that down my nose and also on my cupid's bow and on my brow bone as well. 
For brows, I'm taking the Cabrow Brow Pomade by Benefits, and this is in the shade number three. I got this only a week ago, and I'm loving it so, so much. I think it might actually be my new favorite. So I'm just using that, obviously, on my eyebrows, just to fill them in. Then I'm going back in with the matte green shade and just running that along my lower lash line to balance out this look. And then I'm taking the Wet n Wild Trio as well and using the darker shades on my lower lash line. The eyelashes which I used were these ones here, the 100 volume by Eyelure. And then for lips I took the NYX Lingerie in the shade Satin Ribbon and just used that on my lips. And then I also just took some of the gold MUA highlighter and popped that on top of my lips. And then finally to finish off this look I'm taking a gold glitter liquid eyeliner and this one's from Poundland and I'm just putting that on the inner corner of my eye just like the pot of gold in the center of my eyes. So guys this is the completed look and the makeup which I will be wearing today on St. Patrick's Day when I go out to celebrate. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are doing anything to celebrate St. Patrick's Day, then please let me know in the comments because I would love to know what you guys are up to. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!